I'm Annie Omar, founder of the Maison Vange Paint Company, and today I'm going to show you how to retexture a piece of furniture using our glissage. I purchased a couple of end tables at a garage sale in my neighborhood. They were $25 for the both of them. The problem is that they were pretty dinged up and chipped up. You can see from this picture that they're not in the best shape. The first thing I did was remove all of the hardware and make sure that the piece was clean and free from dust, grime, grit, oil, and dirt. Then I painted it with Maison Blanche Vintage Furniture Paint and Jolie Blonde. You have to do this step so that the glissage will stick to the piece. I'm just going to open up my can here. This color is our natural wood glissage. Our glissage comes in a bunch of different colors, oak, walnut, cherry, um, but for this project I'm going to use our natural wood. This is a chip brush and I'm just going to dab it into this medium and tap, tap, tap it onto my surface. This is actually retexturing your piece of furniture. So if you've got dings, nicks, it's a perfect way to camouflage all of that. You don't even have to watch where you're going when you do this. This is pretty easy. And you don't need it to be even. You can have some areas that are heavier, some areas that are lighter. You can skip some spots. You could use a sea sponge to do this if you wanted to. So you're going to want to let this glissage dry a couple of hours, depending on how thick you put it. This one's completely dry. Really a little bit goes a long way. The biggest mistake people make when they're applying glissage is to put too much. But it just takes a little to create this texture. So now I'm going to paint it with our Maison Blanche Vintage Furniture Paint in Navy. Such a pretty color. I'm going to use a cheapy chip brush because if you were to use a nice brush, it would get really damaged on this rough surface. So I'm going to use a cheapy brush and scrub my paint in. Look how well that covers. One coat is all you're going to need of this. You might be tempted to put two coats, but don't. We're going to heavily distress this. So the more paint you put on, the harder it is to distress. My paint is all dry and I'm ready to distress or sand. I've got two sanding blocks here. One is a medium grit and one is a fine grit. I, I use these quite a bit. Somebody told me that you could actually put these in the dishwasher to clean them up. Um, I'm going to use the, the fine grit first and I'm going to move in circles. and I'm exposing the peaks of my texture that I created. I've got this cheapy little brush that I just dust off the dust with so I can see how far it is and how much more I want to take it. This medium grit sanding block I'm going to use on the edges to really show some extra distressing. When you're done with this dressing, don't forget to dust everything off. You're not going to want any paint dust when you go to wax. I'm going to seal this using our antique wax in light brown. That's all that's left to do is wax and buff. For more information about how to wax, please watch our episode one or episode two. Here's what our final project looks like. What a transformation. Do you remember what it looked like before? The glissage really helped to hide the imperfections that were in the surface. It's turned something that was pretty boring into something very unique and amazing. I hope that you love to retexture with glissage as much as I do. Thank you so much for viewing our videos. Check out our other videos and let us know what you think. If you try this technique, we'd love it if you would share photos on our Facebook page. I'm Annie Omar and I'll see you next time.